Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place, the Binding of Isaac Atterworth Plus. I am an unkillable Isaac God. Give me the Keeper, give me the Lost, it doesn't matter. D but actually, like, do not give me the Keeper again. Oh my god, we can play as a character where we can actually get hit. What's our seed today? That is JJSEPXVJ. Sick, nasty, delicious. My favorite food chain. So what's good about being Isaac? Well, it gives us a brief respite from the reminder that one day this streak will end because that's tough. That's tough, you know? I don't know about Metal Plate. Let me look up what it does, but Metal Plate Isaac. I definitely did not need Mini Mush early, so let me see what the heck this does. Grants one soul heart. Enemy shots that hit Isaac have a chance to be deflected back at the enemy, damaging and confusing it. All right, well, the one soul heart is not bad. Shots that hit me have a chance to hit the enemy. I'm assuming if they hit me and they deflect, they probably don't deal damage. If they do, it's not that good, but I guess I'll just live with it for now and hopefully I won't forget what this item does. This is one of those items I definitely, I should have looked up ages ago. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying we're gonna win this run, but I will say that if we lose this run after winning two keeper runs in a row that went to Mega Satan, like I have, I have no excuse, is probably an easy way to describe it, although we did have, I mean, as far as keeper runs go, they were pretty good. They weren't sorted, like, from the get-go, my god, that was close. They weren't sorted from the get-go, but they did end in a, you know, the sun may rise in the east, at least it's settled in a final location, etc., etc. What is that supposed to mean? It's not it's supposed to mean anything, it's just supposed to allow me to derail the conversation and then, you know, after the forest burns down, I build another one of my own creation. So, Mom's Eyeshadow, I took, uh, and I'll tell you why I took this. I thought it was Mom's Perfume, and Mom's Perfume is a mild tears upgrade, and I thought, you know, that could be decent. We do have Golden Bombs, or a Golden Bomb, rather. Uh, my intention with that is basically to find both secret rooms, and if we can find any tinted rocks, even better. But it looks like we are almost certainly going to get a, uh... Those have been paying out so infrequently for me lately. It looks like we're almost certainly going to get a deal with the devil, uh, on this floor, which is exciting news. We also have a, uh, well, let's take it. We can take the pill. I'm drowsy. Not bad. Uh, we've been to both item rooms. We have our boss fight coming up, and uh, that's a lot of money, actually, so... For one extra bomb, which is actually zero extra bombs. We should be able to buy something from our uh, shop here. I have no idea where the second secret room is, but it's relatively irrelevant. And the luck upgrade, I don't know if that affects our chances of uh, deflecting a shot. But if it does, great. If it doesn't, it's still luck. So either way, I'm happy. I mean, we are Isaac. Uh, I like the D6. But Trinket Smelter is like, I think it's very, very, very good. I think ideal conditions could make Trinket Smelter like as good as the D6, or even better, depending on what kind of trinkets we get. But um, I'm just gonna hold off for now to see like what we might wanna reroll instead because um, we do have battery charges at the ready. Well, we got one charge stored and then we got one charge uh, on the ground. So try not to take any damage here. Um, just need to hit this guy with like one more bomb. He'll probably die. We'll get a deal with the devil. Magic Mush is unnegotiable, non-negotiable. Um, I think you take Maw of the Void, reroll this. We don't care at all about Dark Crown, it's kind of horrible. So do you take Placenta? We don't have any trinkets to smelt, but I do, I do want to make trinket smelter work. So let's go for a DPS uh, improvement. Placenta's fine, but I'm gonna reroll it. And we got something that is basically a neutral change. You might say it's worse, but I actually disagree. Um, it allows us to more easily keep permanent Polaroid invincibility, if that's something we care about a little later on this run, so could be good. So I'm gonna go in here, grab Trinket Smelter, bounce out of here, and uh, yeah, now if we can find some trinkets, that would be nice. I'm not gonna invest too heavily in looking for them, but if we, uh, if we can find them, that would be nice. So certainly a stone chest is a temptation here. We will probably take Bob's brain. We'll definitely take that. Ooh, a little scary through there. Saw our window though when we went for it. It's a great run so far. Like, let's just be honest. Mob the Void is amazing for us when it comes to, um... I'm just blowing these up to try to get another, uh... 
Trinket Chance, of course, but uh, Mob of the Void is amazing for us when it comes to being able to generate some black hearts. I don't know if our luck affects that, but either way, it's going to be good. And then Trinket Smelter is an awesome item, although it's giving us no benefit right now. And I feel like we're, we're well equipped to tackle this run now. Another XL floor. So this is now where I start to think, like, we're definitely going to try to do Boss Rush. Like, it would be uh, a little foolish to just write that off. We're probably going to be out of this floor before 10 minutes, which is, like, extremely... I know we could get that, but we don't need to just yet. Let's just fight the bosses first. Um, we're, like, extremely ahead of schedule. I'm not going to leave this floor as soon as these two fights are done. Okay, that was a little scary. We'll probably take experimental treatment. This is so weird that I get to do, like, the XL pattern on each floor. Because now, you know, I'm, like, not picking up the items that we get from the first boss just to see if we get a deal with the devil and what we get in it if we get a deal with the devil, which we did. So I will take matchbook. It's not like we can re-roll it. Let's see what we get in here. Just the goat head. Actually, like, completely okay. Now we're actually hoping that we don't get uh, XL floors in the future because the XL floors are, uh... They essentially have our ability to get more deals with the devil. So we got a, a fire rate increase and a damage decrease and then some other miscellaneous stats up. So mostly mostly positive there. All right, so what the heck else are we supposed to do on this floor slash on this run? Well, it would be really nice to stack up as many trinkets as possible. So uh, it's one of the, like, there's no items in the game that allow us to stack up a bunch of trinkets. The one exception to that is... Um, Mom's box of trinkets, obviously. Can't believe you would even suggest that I would forget about a magnificent item of that magnitude. However, what am I supposed to do? Um, I, I gotta t keep trinket smelter going as well, so... Mom's box of trinkets is not in there. But we can blow up things that have a chance to give us trinkets, or we could just, I guess, crank that luck stat and hope that more trinkets show up in the future. Otherwise, trinket smelter might be a waste, and uh, we are starting to feel the burn ever so slightly there, because... We did get rid of the D6, and then we got, uh, oh, that's really good, tears and speed up. We did get rid of the D6, and then, like, immediately after getting rid of the D6, we got Unicorn Horn, which we cannot take, so. Value lost. Well, that was a very, very good, uh, secret room. Which we got from both sides. Compost. Another space bar item that's untakeable. Really making a good case for us being, uh, an idiot by getting rid of the... D6, admittedly. Blank rune. Let's hope that it's a per throw, maybe? So we'll pick up compost. Put it back down. Blank rune. Yera. It's Yera. So Yera does nothing for us here. But it's it's the thought that counts in some ways, I'm sure. We're just exploring, uh, looking for our second item room right now. And just throwing it out there that if a trinket showed up along the way, I would be relatively positive. I'm not going to be picky. You know, give me a missing page. It's fine by me. Just something to make me feel as if Trinket Smelter has, you know, future prospects here. I'm not trying to force the Zane. The Zane can choose to exist or not to exist. That is the question. It was terrible dodging. That was actually way worse. Um, but I was trying to shoehorn Ma of the Void into that situation. But it does feel nice, you know? It feels nice. We, we kind of, I feel, are owed a, uh, a bit of a hangover run. After winning twice with the Keeper, so even if we don't necessarily play up to our fullest, as long as we come out of this one, you know, nobody's got any permanent injuries. Nice. I'm going to feel like we were relatively justified in the process. Like I said, 10 minutes seems reasonable here. No more XL floors, please, because I want to get maximum possible use out of... Uh, yeah, sure, we'll take Dead Tooth, um, a.k.a. Moldy Bread. But it's like a moldy pumpernickel. It's not your standard whole wheat. That was very lucky. Um, long story short, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I see a lot of battery charges. I'm trying to think of a space bar item that would work with these battery charges, and surely I know that, um, you know, don't, don't kid yourself. If we had the D6, I'd, I'd be rolling an item, so I'm just going to choose not to... Think about that right now. I mean, we got Abel. I'm not sweating it. Abel's a fun guy. Yeah, I'm a fun guy. We've officially lost it. Okay. Well. Let's try to find it again. The battery charges are just adding insult to injury right now. Making more Indie Mouse fodder. 
just gonna hang back as far as I conceivably can. Maw of the Void is great, but yeah, that's what I mean. When I said hang back as much as I conceivably can, what I wanted to do was hang back as far as I conceivably could. Instead, though, I just um, ran into an enemy that explodes because I can't be trusted to even listen to my own internal monologue on stuff like that. But Mob the Void is great. If we can get the virus, we could have like an, an uh, aggressive, not invincibil invincibility, but almost like a, uh, what am I trying to say here? Like an aggressive, uh, kamikaze style run, like reckless run, where we can just run into enemies and probably generate enough HP off of them to justify doing so, but it'd be nice to have another orbital before doing that as well. Well, we did the whole floor. We got uh, Matchbook Goathead Experimental Treatment, Big Fan Halitosis Able. An actually shit haul from this floor, to be honest with you. And uh, I don't think our shop was really that exciting either, so... I think we'll just get out of here, and let's be thankful that we're four minutes or something ahead of schedule. That's pretty awesome. And we did get some stat increases from our uh, from pills that we got over the course of the game as well. But didn't really improve ourselves as much as I would hope to improve ourselves on a floor like that. Hagalaz. Getting Hagalaz this early should mean that, at the very least, we didn't overpay for it. The only reason it's a problem is because we paid for it uh, in advance. You know, we, we should get at least one Tinted Rock's worth of value out of the, the Hagalaz rune, or we, we royally messed up. Well, a bit of a bit of an ask there in terms of our consumables. Um, but yeah, I was kind of hoping this would be like an Awaz or a Yera or something. Awaz in particular, like we're in the right stage of the game to make sure we can get some value out of that with Boss Rush coming up so soon and see what our shop... Oh, our shop is not a shop. It's a library. So we get Book of Belial and Satanic Bible. So, step one is definitely two plays of Satanic Bible. This is also, like, both of those items... Oh, we got it. Matchstick. Welcome to the fucking show. Um, both of those items might be better than Trinket Smelter right now. But I believe that we will make it to Trinket Land one day. And when we get there, we're going to get so many trinkets, your head's going to spin. You know, it's going to be a beautiful time. I'm sorry. I had I had the Omega Penny on a run very recently, and I like it. I genuinely, I loved it. I This is an item, I'm, I'm not avoiding it because it's uh, an item I dislike. I'm avoiding it because I have it all the fucking time. But what I will do is maybe use it for the rest of this floor. And I think there's value in there that a lot of people don't consider. So, you know, here you take the steam sail and then you crack it. And look at that, tarot cloth. That's a wonderful choice. Then we'll get another charge and we'll try to use it on maybe like a deal with the devil or a, a boss fight. As long as you're using it to uh, give you a 50% chance to get two item pedestals instead of one, you're gonna love life. It's a great item. But I will admit, the Omega Penny has dominated probably too many runs, and we should uh, slow down its use a little bit. I'll, I'll accept that, as much as it pains me to admit. Um, we, we got Poker Chip. I don't know if Poker Chip is even a good trinket, but it's a trinket, so we're going to hold it, and then we will smelt it. Extremely lucky there. Um, I mean, the Omega Penny charge is good. There's many ways we can make this happen, uh, you know, with Goathead especially. We're guaranteed to deal with the devil. Okay, that was almost terrible dodging. Let's get this done first, though. Monstro 2 is no uh, freaking contest right now. I am looking for the, the killer app from a deal with the devil, though. You know, the run is good, the run is great, but I'm waiting for the one thing that puts us over the top, whether that be like a guppy chance or anything... That really ups our damage, I think, is going to be up there. So first, Krampus. This is, a, like, ideal Omega Penny territory, honestly. And that could be an Awaz rune as well. So you want to get Lump of Coal and then double it. We got Krampus's head, which we don't care about. It's Burkano. I am just going to pop Hagalaz, though. 
see what we get. Just a mushroom, unfortunately. So we want to make sure we're leaving with this. We'll take super bandage. We'll try to double it. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. It happens. Uh, and then we could double our library, but the books are going to be the same. So there's really no point to doubling our library. So we're just going to see if we get one more item pedestal somewhere. And if we do, that's where we're going to pop uh, the Omega Penny. Maybe this is good, like, I I'm not going to swear off the Omega Penny, but I will maybe, like, now when we find it, it's the same way we treated, like, the D4 or the D100. Like, get its flavor, reroll once, and then move on with your life, like, with whatever item you had before. So, I can understand that being perhaps uh, an amenable compromise, if you will. But there, were, there are some runs in which this is probably going to save us. So I am going to... Uh, I'm going to reserve the right to do that whenever that happens. But yeah, I don't think there's any point in doubling anything right now. So we'll just uh, take the battery charge and smelt the poker chip. At least we've got two trinkets now. And one of them is matchstick. So I expect uh, bombs should be relatively easy to come by. Keys are another story, but... We'll head downwards here. Still waiting on that, uh, the killer synergy. But certainly not in a, uh, in a bad spot at all. So we got so much time. Boss rush is basically guaranteed if we want it to be guaranteed. Really thought he would have paid out there. Um, if we have to give this guy a few, uh, spirit hearts, demon hearts, doesn't really matter to me. Pheromones. Speed up. That's... Worth the HP loss we might be about to experience, I think, although only mildly. Telepills has taken us out of here. So that's another half spirit heart cost sort of built in there, but I'm okay with it. And just run away from this. No greed, no greed, okay. Dull Razor doesn't really do much for us here, but I will take this, and I will take this, and I will take this. And I think I'm going to donate here just to see if we could get a luck upgrade, which did not end up working out. So what are the other things we're looking for on this floor? Uh, ideally a teleport card would be really nice. That's probably our secret room right there. Even though we bounced it, we got pretty lucky there. Super greed fight is essentially meaningless unless we get luck. Keys are good though. And uh, we started all the way back there, so... We really would benefit from upping our damage. Like, Maw of the Void is great, but it does require us to get up close and personal. As soon as we find a teleport card, and I'm assuming we will, like we got a lot of time. Um, as soon as we find the ability to teleport, we are uh, in there. Now we do have telepills. I just don't remember what the identifier for the pill is, so it's not really that helpful right now. Hi, uh, Just use it to check for a possible teleport card slash rune. I don't know what I hit there, but... It is on me. Luckfoot is fine. I'd rather have that than an HP upgrade at this point. Alright, so I think we'll just get some more red hearts. Um, work our way back to where that demon judgment was and... You know, continue trying to leverage this for a little bit more damage. Where's my small rock, man? Like, I've, I've been looking for that for so many runs now. It just does not seem to want to show up recently. Used to be like a 100% chance you're getting small rock. Not from each, uh, Spirit Heart, or sorry, each, uh, Tinted Rock, but from, like, the aggregate of, tint of Tinted Rocks that you would take on an average run, you were getting Small Rock one way or the other. We can also do the Boss Trap Room here. It's amazing how much speed you can get, uh, or how much pace you can get, rather, from having all these XL floors, because, like, this run is way weaker than a lot of runs, that we've taken, uh, I mean, obviously this far in the game, not that it's very far in the game at all. Um, but it's gotten to the this stage so much faster that didn't kill it, okay. Um, just because of the XL floor, so I'm just waiting for, like, a window, and then we're gonna squander everything that we built, and that should do it. Alright, so what's the last stage of this floor? Play the blood bank. Don't really care if we get blood bag. IV bag's not worth anything for us. That's probably... It's not a secret room. Uh, see if we get anything from the boss trap room. If we don't, I guess we're basically out. We only need to play it once, but we'll play it twice just in case. 
You never know. We do have spirit arts we can recover from. We might get a teleport uh, item from boss rush, or we might get an item that makes it so we don't want to teleport because it's just so good, but that's, that's even more low percentage than this being a card that teleports us, so. Don't get your hopes up. And it is a teleport card. It just had a, a sort of feeling of destiny about it, didn't it? You saw the card, you saw where we were at on the run. It was the right time for a teleport card to fall. Now, I don't necessarily believe in the causality of that. I said necessarily, but what I mean is I do not believe in the causality of that. But it makes for a good narrative for a video, you gotta admit. Alright, Mom's going down to no problem here. Just wanna make sure Bob's brain is gone before we use Ma of the Void. Okay, problem solved. Very, very good. Here's the thing. I'll probably continue to rely on Ma of the Void no matter what because that's the kind of guy I am. But if I could not have to rely on it, that's pretty valuable. And I think that moment should be coming. So we'll grab the Polaroid. Sin Robes is good. We should have taken the Shade and then taken Sin Robes. It would have just been a, basically a free value add. But the Shade is not really worth even concerning yourself with that extra level of thought. Uh, no offense, man. How ironic. He, I thought it was the Shade. You're the one throwing Shade. Cricket's Head was a 0.78 damage increase because we already have Magic Mush. So it turns out that that was actually... Still the right choice, I think, but not very good in the whole scheme of things. Uh, yeah, let's just head down. Still, like, a weirdly, like, not that amazing run that's still very fast. But I think we're fine to, uh... To win. Like, this is a well-equipped run. And, I mean, we're not the keeper, so... If I could go back in time, though, like, if, knowing what I know now, I think it's dangerous to try to draw, like, universal lessons from one run of Isaac, but I would not have replaced D6 with Trinket Smelter if I knew we were going to get Poker Chip and uh, Matchstick. Keep in mind that we don't even need Trinket Smelter to hold two Trinkets. We could have gotten rid of it, uh, or we could have smelted one trinket and still been able to hold two. You know, even if we got rid of trinket smelter after that point. So, really we need like another trinket to show up and ideally for it to be great. Before I'm going to start to think that this trinket smelter uh, plan that we had has really paid out. But for now, like who cares? You know, you're, you're, you're trying to provide some entertainment here. The run's going okay. You got the tools to keep it going. It might not end up being the zaniest Trinket Smelter run of all time, but it's nice to have a, a brief, perhaps, return to normalcy. I think we missed. A brief return to normalcy uh, after the ridiculousness that was the last two Keeper runs. I think that that's fair. Something's wrong. Not with me. I mean, I am a little under the weather, but mostly at this point, you know, I'm... I'm symptomatic, but not contagious. A couple of days ago, relatively asymptomatic, extremely contagious. I know what contagious means, by the way. I'm just, I was feeling the effects, which is not the same as contagious, but um, that was terrible. Today, I feel like a million bucks. Okay, don't be a moron. Just how many times have I been hit by these guys for no conceivable reason? Now we find ourselves in an interesting spot. Am I going to fight Hush? I think this is the kind of run that... It, it's like the toughest possible run to decide on whether or not you're fighting Hush. Because we have the tools to make the Hush fight work for us. Particularly Ma of the Void, but also like... We're in good on keys. We've got like exactly enough money and we've already donated as much as they'll allow us to. Um, I mean, we actually don't even want that, I think. So that's just another slap in the face for uh, Trinket Smelter, but let's not let's not double down on our mistake, right? I think that item can be good, but I don't... I, actually, I guess we do want it. It's not like it's going to kill us when we get down to like a certain amount of HP, right? Um, instead, it'll allow us to get to permanent Polaroid invincibility faster. So let's smelt the left hand. That was so stupid. Never smelt the left hand. 
<laughs> I just realized what that means. What that means is I can't drop the left hand, so we will not be getting four extra items on the chest. We'll be getting four extra red chests on the chest. And then probably every chest after that will be red as well. So that was, like, actually a pretty big mistake. Luckily, the run is pretty good, as is. And to be honest with you, it might be better on the hush f or on the blue womb to get uh, three red or four red chests than four golden chests. But it just depends on what you're looking for. If I can get a bunch of guppy items out of it, that's obviously ideal. I will take fat on mushroom. It's about the same damage upgrade as uh, Cricket's head right now. You know what? Careful what you wish for here. Got a couple of uh, dubious but possibly hilarious trinkets. If we become Guppy, I'm vindicated. I am selfless. I am wrong. I am the title track to the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. I will re-roll this whole run. Um, yes, I will re-roll this whole run. What have we done? Uh, our damage is horrible. But our rate of fire is ridiculous. And our shots also ricochet. Now, we don't have Trinket Smelter anymore, so what happens to our antiquated trinkets? I have no idea. Maybe they stick with us, actually. Okay. That thing took about a thousand years to uh, explode, but more power to you, I suppose. This is actually, like, an extremely good run. I guess we're hoping for the mom transformation out of mom's heels. Okay, we got it. Um, yeah, our DPS is actually ridiculously high right now. This is... A run that I can be happy with. It's a little bit less zany, maybe? I don't know. But the concept of re-rolling it to begin with is a little zany. So hopefully it makes it up on the back end. We have a 9% deal with the Devil Chance. I'm a little insulted by that. Justice. Let's give it a try. Why not? We want these half hearts so we can get to permanent Polaroid Invincibility. Hopefully we don't die here. Uh, we still have all of our trinkets. Okay, that's that's funny. I mean, I think we can afford to just take Hora Babylon, and that will synergize with Drain You. Uh, Unicorn Horn is actually pretty good here. Unicorn Stump, I should say. We don't have. I think that might just fuck up our rate of fire, but it's. No, it's cool. That's cool. All right. Um, well, I. Because we have the mom transformation, we can do some damage with it, is what I'm getting at. 48 hour energy. But dog tooth is also some damage, so I'm not against it. And the other thing is, we could take Pandora's box to the cathedral, which is coming up next, so. Let's start with dog tooth. And I'm hopeful that that damage up. I mean, we should take Pandora's box, but I'm hopeful that that damage upgrade is gonna do enough for us here. Considering how fast our rate of fire is. It gives me a chance to look at our other items as well. So we have Life Steal from Charm of the Vampire. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, really, but it is what it is. Um, and apart from that, we just got a lot of stuff that keeps our eyes shooting in different directions. So I don't really have... A lot to inform you about here. Pretty much everywhere it's going to be hot. I'm trying to think of what else we've got here. I mean, I see Dark Bomb, obviously. It's very good if we can get Red Hearts to drop. And I see, um... I mean, I see the Peeper. It's okay. GB Bug, again, pretty much fits in the same camp. It's all right. I do wish we had, like, Lusty Blood or Serpent's Kiss or something like that, which is a little bit like having, like, $500,000 and being like, I wish we had a billion dollars. Like, you're still doing well, so, like, keep that in perspective. But, I mean, this is human nature, right? You want to grow. You always want more. And this run, while good, still does have room to grow. Some of the items I traditionally ask for, though, would not really fit on this run. Like, Sad Bombs strikes me as not really offering too much for us right here. Maybe we have some special bombs? I should always check. I forget, though. Now, these are just these are just normal-ass bombs. 
Honestly, if we can... That was so bad, but... If we can beat Hush, we will easily win this run. Don't even get me started on that damage. That that horrible, like, extremely long period of taking damage. I think Drain You plus Lifesteal is working out fine here. We might never get to Horror Babylon, but we also might never lose any Black Hearts, which seems like uh, that's probably a pretty good trade-off for us in the whole scheme of things. So, if we can beat Hush, and it, honestly, we're beating Hush relatively easily. Yeah, that was bad. Then we have pretty much nothing to worry about long term on this run. We're not gonna do void though, probably. I've been doing void on dailies recently. Like, if you're really salty that void doesn't show up more often in these videos, I mean, there's a couple of things I have to say. The first one is give me an incentive to go to void. Not you guys in particular, but if if the design of the game gave me an incentive to go to void beyond the fact that you know you can maybe you can get like six items before you fight delirium of middling quality then I'd consider it more often, because it would actually be like a fun choice, but instead it just feels like an obligation right now. Um, yeah, we don't really care. I mean, we could buy the three cent heart, but I don't think it matters. Uh, we'll just head up here. The other thing is, uh, take the randomness out of it. <sighs> Dead Sea Scrolls. That's not very good. It is a good run, though. Strange run. I wish we had more luck. But it, maybe it doesn't matter because we have the left hand, so... That's right, we'll be getting a lot of uh, red chests starting on the next floor. I forgot about that temporarily, but it, I, I don't know, it's fun at least. Did the red chests work out for us? No, not really, but we're probably completely fine regardless. And it makes for a semi-funny story, I suppose, so... Oh, wait, Dogtooth. Gotta listen for that. Bob's Curse. Mostly... Probably a useless item at this point, but it's it's one of the useless items that I'm like, I'm happy to have. I'm not insulted by it. We did lose the Eternal Heart for doing that, but I thought I was going to say, Bookworm might exist. Um, now we get Horror Babylon working, at least temporarily. It'll probably, like, on the next room it'll be done, but... Or soon after. If we want to uh, keep Horror Babylon, we pretty much need to give away all of... Well, actually, we literally need to give away all of our Red Hearts, so... Short of that happening, I wouldn't get your hopes up, but, uh... It was also kind of like a victimless crime to take it in the first place. We can fly permanently? How long have we been able to fly? Have we been able to fly forever? Because we should not be, but... Or I, I should have noticed, rather, but... If it's because of the Bible that we picked up, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm thinking that it shouldn't be because of that, but maybe it is, but it shouldn't be. Maybe we bugged it? I don't know. Or the other alternative, which is extremely plausible, is that we've had the ability to fly for a long time, and I'm just an idiot, and uh, didn't notice. Or maybe the Bible gave us the uh, Seraphim transformation and the Bookworm transformation simultaneously. That seems more plausible. We're getting into some, you know, House MD shit right now. But I think that that's the most logical outcome. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I do not know. Uh, we got deck of cards, maybe? I figured, like, why not? Well, the, the better question is why, because now we could have used the sun card on the chest. Instead, we're going to have pheromones, but... Do we have shielded tears as well? No, we definitely do not. So what am I looking for on the chest? Well... Any items would be acceptable. We would expect to not get any to start with because of the left hand. Okay, well, I suppose I should have been more specific. That's on me. Any items except for Cursed Eye. And Curse of the Tower. I, I know you. I know you. Because I freaking... I am you. All right, we have no map anyway, so we didn't miss out on using the sun card. This run is going to end in a win. And it was relatively unweird. But there were still some times that it, it was looking slightly dicey. And the full run reroll threw me for a loop temporarily, but we, we came out ahead on this one. So we're going to stretch the very, you know, embryonic streak here. Which is a, an expression that I didn't even 
think about how awful that sounds until, uh... Um, sweetheart, can you check your... You, you've got, like, a little embryonic streak on your dress. Um, yes, I grew up during the Clinton administration. Uh, the, uh, I mean, I am Canadian. I, I grew up in the Kretchen years. See, that's, you know, I've localized the joke, and it's funny to, like, 10% of the original population that the initial joke appealed to. But anyway, I think that was, like, Book of Revelations or I don't know, because we made a pill. I don't know, dude. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the embryonic streak is going to be stretched very slightly here, but, uh, we did have a fun time. And I'm ready for what the game is going to throw at me next, I think. We played okay on today's run. Not overtly, incredibly impressive, but far from a... That was Tammy said. Far from a complete whiff, and uh, we used Omega Penny properly. What I would consider our new definition of proper, at least. And uh, didn't let it take over our run and, and give people a reason to bellyache. Perhaps deservedly so. Finally found our boss. I only say finally because the chest has been a little bit of a slog. Mostly because we're not getting any extra items. Last chance and it didn't work out. And... I still have no idea what that was. Doesn't really matter though. There's, there's like no way we end up losing this. Even if we stand next to him, like... Little Haunt and the, the Mom transformation will do them in. We're gonna bounce here. They didn't make me choose. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.